finals. So do stick around for that tomorrow. As soon as those finals finish, I'll be running down to the competition zone to chat to the ladies and men's winners in speed and lead. Great to see her back on winning form after her illness last week. So we go now to the men's final. First run is for bronze medal. Vladimir Kartashev versus Nikolai Kuzovlev. Kartashev on the left, Kuzov left on the right, and Kuzov left cuts off to the better of the two stars, but Kartashev's catching him up on that left-hand side. Kuzov left in the red sleeve slips, Kartashev in the yellow sleeve slips, Kuzov left finishes in 9.47, Kartashev in just over 10 seconds. Very, very close indeed. Kuzov left wants that medal. Would be the third medal for him in this speed competition this year. Kartashev with those two slips. Cost him. There he is, 9.47, his fastest time in that right-hand run. Significantly faster than his uh, first times as well. Just less than a second between the two of them. A flawless run from Kartashev, and any form of stumble from Kuzovlev could cost him a medal here. Who will be stood on that third place podium tomorrow? High right foot from Kuzovlev, a powerful start from him. Generates the momentum, and it's a big, big explosion from him. Big reaches, and he's looking to find the momentum. Kartashev powering away, but just not able to catch Kuzovlev, who does finish first. 10.21. It's the bronze medal for Nikolai Kuzovlev. And it's fourth place for Vladimir Kartashev. So now we can show you bronze medal total time of 19.67. Bib number one is the bronze medal for Nikolai Okay, business end of this men's speed final. In that yellow bib, Anton Yemov, current World Tour leader so far. Two gold medals and a fourth. On the left-hand side, Anton Sukarev, he's got a bronze medal to his name, which is his first ever medal. Oh, and it's a big fall from Sukarev to start, but Yemov just stalling out, and Sukarev starting to accelerate now on the left-hand side. Yemov keeping up with him, he's very, very close indeed. So close, and it's Sukarev that finishes first. A big lunge with that right hand ahead of Yemov, who opted to power through. That was superb. Big mistakes from both, but flipping heck, that was still so close. 10.04 and 10.11. Less than a tenth of a second between them. It's going to need another flawless run from Sukarev and another mistake from Nyemov if Sukarev wants to hold on to that lead. Nyemov very, very fast in the recovery there. It appeared like he just couldn't get the momentum in that bottom section, Anton Nyemov. He was just not as fast as I was expecting. Sukarev on the right hand side, the faster of the two sides for him so far. This could be his day. Ready? World Tour leader on the left, the underdog by all counts on the right. Line up, and here they go. Big stumble from Sukarev. Yemov gets off to a good start and they're very close again. Sukarev starting to accelerate. Yemov pulls away, it's gonna be so close. Another slip from Yemov. Sukarev got his tool stuck, he's going one-handed. Yemov finishes. And it's a heartbreak as Sukarev goes one-handed to the finish. Yemov takes his third gold medal of the season. 
and it's still silver for Sukarev, his first ever silver medal. Amazing work from him. Very, very close indeed. Anton Yemov wasn't sure, and Sukarev, who climbed with one tool to the top, took silver. Big smiles from Yemov, total time of 20.2 seconds, winning him the gold medal. Sukarev with silver, and Kuzovlev with bronze. Another all-Russian podium in both the men's and women's competitions. Do you remember that tomorrow we have lead semis and finals? If you want to watch the semi-finals, you'll be able to tune into those at 8 a.m. local time. You can get us here in Rabenstein and watch all of that action. And we'll be live with the finals at 12.45 local time tomorrow, that's Central European time, an hour ahead of Great Britain, uh, eight hours behind Eastern Asia. Those are the times on your screen, 8 a.m. and 12.45. And uh, if today's qualifiers are anything to go by, it's going to be sensational. I think we can take a quick look at the final results in those men's and women's speed finals. When we have those, you'll get the confirmation of those results in both competitions. Of course, the results aren't finalized until the judges sign them off. On that tower there, we'll also have the speed record tomorrow. There was Fayok Tistova gold medalist this week if the judges sign it off I don't see any reason that they would appeal that it's been a very fair run competition Anton Yemov in that thrilling finals I'm just being told we actually don't have the, uh, the final results, but don't worry about that. I can tell you that in the ladies' competition, it was, of course, gold medal for Ekaterina Fayok-Tistova. It was silver medal for Valeria Bogdan, and it was bronze medal for Ekaterina Kosheva. And in the men's competition, bronze medal goes to Russia's Nikolai Kuzovlev. Silver medal to Russia's Anton Sukarev, and gold medal. His third of the season, absolute domination from Anton Yemov, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up our speed finals here in Ravenstein. Do remember to tune in tomorrow, 8 a.m. for the lead semi-finals for the men and women, and 12.45 p.m. for the lead finals for the men and women. It's been an absolute pleasure as always. My name is Liam Lonsdale. Whatever you're doing for the rest of the day or for the rest of the evening, do it safely and do it with heart. Thanks so much and good night.